Hey guys, Eric Su here. Welcome back to another episode of Goality Lifestyle. Today's episode is going to be a fun one because today I'm going to be talking about the Xfinity X5 Gateway. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I know you guys will get a lot out of this. So remember to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification button to help the YouTube algorithm as well so that you can get future videos just like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know you guys will get a lot out of this as well. All right, so let's dive right into today's video. So I've been looking around for better internet because recently my current internet provider, AT&T, it has been a little bit shaky and um, <clears throat> upon some research and I guess since seeing some commercials, I noticed that Xfinity was um, offering um, better speeds for the basically the same price. So what am I getting? Right now, I am a subscriber to AT&T Internet and 100 megabits um, service. Well, it's in and out, like I said, and I'm paying about $50 for it. Well. When I went and just researched Xfinity, I saw they had a 400 megabytes um, download speed uh, for $50 as well. And I'm like, wow, what a great offer. I can get 400 megabits versus 100 megabits for basically the same price. But here's something really cool. So <clears throat> I heard about this emergency broadcast benefits program. And you're eligible if you are on SNAP or some um, Medicaid or some other um, government programs, right? And so if you are any of those, go ahead and check out this program, the EBB, the Emergency Broadcast Benefits Program. Just look it up <clears throat> and you'll find it. A lot of these service providers offer uh, discounts up to $50, I think, and then $75 if you are on tribal land or something like that. But look into it, the EBB. And so Xfinity participates in the EBB. And when I um, went to the website and see if I was eligible and applied for the EBB, we were. Okay, so that is really cool. So we saved $50 on our service and I'm gonna get um, 400 megabits download. Now, <clears throat> this is the XFi gateway, okay? This thing, um, is compatible with the service I'm getting and it's $14 per month okay $14 per month and you could purchase your own modem and such um, and we were figuring well maybe down the road we would uh, purchase one but for now $14 a month um, not too bad 168 per year which is about the price of something really good Okay, so this one will um, <clears throat> work for our speed. And so there's many different modems out there, Netgear, um, Sunbeam, I think it's called, or Eris, something like that. But anyhow, the point is this, we got this one and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it today to see if, we're um, to see if we will get the 400 megabytes um, download speed, okay? Now, <clears throat> what I'm curious to know too is whether or not this will extend far enough to reach where my desk is okay otherwise we'll have to get an extender okay now the extender that apparently works for this when it was at the xfinity store was something that cost 119 dollars just for an extender okay so i don't know if if that is truthful or whether or not uh any x uh extender can work with this but according to the service person at the store the one that they sold was the only one that would connect with this one. I don't know if that's true, but um, I'm gonna have to ask around. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and show you how I connect this guy to my cable uh, port. And they actually um, gave us a coaxial cable too, so that we could connect to our um, to our port here. Okay, so. That's really cool. <clears throat> um, something else I should note too before I connect this is that um, upon ordering, uh, they offered me Flex TV, I believe, or Flex Stream. I don't know what it was called. It's called Flex. But basically, what it is is the box that allows you to get uh, Peacock Stream for free 
And then if you have HBO and all the other networks, you can uh, subscribe to those through this box. And basically it was a free thing and might as well just get it and uh, use it. RTV does have a lot of those apps already, so I'm not sure if we'll hook that up. But anyhow, they offer it for free and you can always check it out. Cool. Okay, so <clears throat> let us go ahead and unbox this guy. Okay, Let's see what's this all about. Okay. Um, all right. First things first, they have this is for Xfinity Voice instructions for that. Probably don't need that. This is the uh, Xfinity X5 Gateway um, modem router. It has connection, uh, coaxial cable connection here, power on this side right there, and then they got network cables here, two network cables and a telephone here if you're gonna get telephone, okay? Um, so we're gonna need to go ahead and also show you that um, here are some easy instructions on how to connect. Uh, one in Spanish and one in English, cool. It also comes with a cable like this, ethernet cable. Got a lot of these, don't need it right now and the power cable comes in here as well, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. And the other thing I wanna say here is you have to download the app and it's the Xfinity app. I already have it loaded up and it's gonna walk me step-by-step step through the process of connecting it and hooking this up. So let us first D disconnect the AT&T and then we're going to go ahead and connect the Xfinity. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me show you that process. Now I'm going to power it up. So we've got it connected. I'm gonna plug it in here. All right. Okay, it says to identify your modem. Okay, it looks like it's powered up. Got a yellow dot there. So the MAC address is on the bottom here. So I'm gonna type in the CM Mac number. I'll double check the connections. It says to please hold tight. And we're looking for your device. Estimated time 11 minutes. A few moments later. All right, you guys, so this is what happened. Yep, it says we can't find your modem. Make sure your modem is powered on and connected to the cable outlet before you try again. If that doesn't work, move it to a different cable outlet in your home. Be sure your modem is plugged in and connected to the new outlet before you try again. I guess we'll have to try it again. A few moments later. All right, you guys, so I just went ahead and connected, or I should say reconnected the cable, and um, I'm gonna try this process again. That's our cable outlet. This is the Xfinity X5 gateway, and we'll see if it works. All right, you guys, so second time, and this gives me the I can't find the modem thing again. So I'm gonna push the none of my outlets work. And it says schedule an appointment. 
it seems you don't have an active cable outlets. So they want us to schedule someone to activate. Hmm. Which is interesting only because when before I contacted or while I contacted Xfinity the other day, I asked them if whether or not I could do self-installation and the answer was yes, I could do self-installation. Well, I guess this is not self-installation, I guess, right? So, well, we'll see what they say. So I'll have to go through this chat box here to schedule an appointment. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right, you guys. So after discovering that my internet was not connecting, this box right here, okay, um, it was giving me air sign when I was trying to set it up. Well, as you saw, the um, customer service person said that I would need a technician to come out and check it out. And so that happened in two days. And so after the guy came in, he um, checked the signal and he said, wow, we're getting a, lot, a really good signal, um, which is great. And, um, and he really didn't do much overall other than go out to um, my um, outside here to, um, you know, clean up, if you will, the wires and just making sure that they were clean and so uh, up to date, which is fine. Um, and then he came in and tried to install it after doing that. He really didn't need to do that to turn this on, by the way, because it was already on this port. But um, he used the cable that I was using. And uh, after trying for about maybe 10 minutes or so, maybe or something like that, they discovered that the cable was bad. Of All the things, the, the, the cable they supplied to me was bad. Anyhow, um, he switched out with his cable, but before he switched out the cable, he thought the box was bad. So he switched out a box and even the new box didn't connect. And so that pointed to the cable being bad. And so when he switched out his own new cable, it worked. Okay. So I guess the cable itself was the main problem. And if that didn't happen, I would have connected two days earlier. But anyhow, that didn't happen. He got it up and running and so we're here and um, I've been getting very good speed. Now, very good speed here. <laughs> Let me say that again, here in this room right here. Okay, and so I'm gonna show you what I'm getting in this room. So I'm gonna open up my app here. It's gonna hit connect and it's gonna run. Okay, let's see what we get. Right, so if you're reading that, that is four hundred and seventy seven megabytes. Okay, and we're getting twenty three um, upload. Okay, so here we're getting four hundred. Okay, just get that clear. Okay, four hundred and seventy seven megabytes. But that's here, okay? So now, my house is, I don't know, 60 long or something like that, and like 30 wide. So if I go across uh, the house and over into that room, um, we're gonna get a lower speed because this signal can only project so far, okay? And so, what are we getting over there? Let's go over there and test it out. So we're on this side of the house. Okay. All right. And like I said, it's about 30, no, about 60 feet. Okay. So we're going to do that test again. Okay. So you can see what we got here. So let's get this going here. Let's do it again. Okay. It's pretty good. All right. All right, what does it say? 398. So not the worst case scenario going 60 feet this way. Still getting a big number here, okay? And you got 20, 23, okay? And so 
um, I guess what I'm saying is like, if you get away from the uh, modem router, the signal drops, okay? Now, if I go upstairs or go downstairs, it's gonna be a little different uh, as well. So um, the last area is my offices, which is right above here. And um, let's go ahead and see what that score is next. Okay, now we're upstairs. All right, you can see my computer over here. Okay, here, so what do we got here? Okay, big drop off. Okay. computer and check it out so it's a poor 14 on my phone here but what's interesting is that if i turn this computer on over here let's try it again Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. 140s, 145, and then 15. But as you can see, That's what my computer is doing. All right, so as you can see, uh, there's several things going on here. Number one, the Xfinity internet is actually very good when you are close to the modem router, as probably everyone will experience. So, um, and there's gonna be a drop off the further you get away from it. Um, and are there extenders that I could purchase to extend the signal over? and make it better? Yeah, there is. Um, and you can just look them up. You don't have to, according to the installer that I was talking to, purchase the Xfinity extender that they sell you at the store. So anyhow, the extender uh, could work and I might get one, but I might not only because I won't be staying up in here uh, very long and pretty soon I will be moving down to uh, the first floor or actually the basement, which is in a, di in a different room closer to uh, the router. And that speeds it in that room. What I'm thinking of is a way better and stronger, like 300 versus 100 and something I'm getting in this upper floor attic room. Okay, so I um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this um, review and hope you guys learned something new about the Xfinity um, modem router and their speeds and if you guys like this video remember to destroy the like button subscribe button and notification button so you can get future videos just like this and it helps the youtube algorithm and so thank you so much and we'll see you in the future